This is a fun technology project you can do in conjunction with notebooking. So the kids would do a colony acrostic in their notebook, but then they can turn it into a presentation for the class. So if you take a look, um, if you click, um, it causes these things to spin. And you'll see that the L letters were sent, help the colonists living far away, O, one girl named Pocahontas, etc., all the way across. So they go all the way and they have their name at the end. So I'm going to show you how this is done. The first thing you want to do is get a background picture that goes with whatever you're working on. In this case it was a colony but you could easily do it for sun with light etc. So and I pre put that on for the children. The next thing you do is you find the shape, the size you want. So this is it. So I use basically an insert um, shape tool and just drew it the size I want but I don't like the color with this or I'd like to see the the picture behind it. So I'm going to just right click on it. I'm going to go to format shape. I'm going to actually change my fill color to sort of a lighter blue. So let me go ahead and pick a lighter blue. And I also want it to be a little um, faded in the back. So if you can see right here about 43%, 49%, let's go 46% right there. Okay. Now all I have to do is right click, hit copy. I'm going to go here to home and I can hit paste and it's going to give me, you need a total, for this particular one you need a total of six because colony is six letters and you also need a, a bottom set. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. So you can see that I set them all up. So um, you're going to have colony written down here and you're going to have the acrostic parts written in the boxes. I usually have this preset up for children because it saves a lot of time. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and put my letters in. I want you to, what they do is click on the bottom boxes, right click, hit edit text. Now the problem is it defaults to 18 and white font, so I always tell the kids switch it to black font and switch this to 100. It seems to be a good. And then they're going to go ahead and put their capital C in there. They're going to go to the next one, go edit text, change the text to font, change this to 100, and put the next letter in. Okay, so they're going to do that and spell colony all the way across. I'm going to put this on pause for just a second. All right, I've just gone ahead and spelled out the word colony and now the kids would do the same thing in the top boxes but this time making the um, text match the letters. So in this case they're going to right click, they're going to hit edit text and they're just going to go ahead and if you see the color does default to white so I always tell the kids to go and change the color and that's just um, a text box thing so not a text box but I'm going to go ahead and just put some gobbledygook in there and they're going to do the same thing in every single one. If they've got a lot of text I would just teach them how to reduce their text size but usually the children know how to do that pretty quickly. So again edit text and then start typing gobbly for me, gobbly book, but for the kids it would be matching the O. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with all the boxes. All right, once this is done, they're now set to put the actions on it. And they really do have to do this in order, so um, because you need one to be the entrance and one to be the exit. So I'm going to show you how to do this. All right, this is um, the tricky part, but kids get it pretty quickly. You go to add, you're going to start at the bottom, and then you're going to go to the one above it, and start at the bottom, one above it. So let's go do that with C, add animations, and you've got entrance animations, and you've got exit. This is actually going to be exit, and we're going to do the um, swivel right here. Then you're going to click on the next thing. You're going to hit add animations, and the entrance is also going to be a swivel. And over here, it's got to be with previous. Okay, so they both turn at the same time. So they both see a one here and a one here, so we're going to do that again. So you're going to start at the bottom, go to add animation. The bottom is the exit one, so you're going to go to swivel. Then you go to the top right above it. You're going to go to the entrance as being swivel, and you've got to at this point switch it so it says with previous, so they turn together. So you've got a one here, a one here, a two here, and a two here. So I'm going to do that with the rest of them and be right back. Alright, so I now have the action on all of them, and you can tell because I got one and one, two and two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, so I know it's going to work. Um, what I'm going to do now is move the bottom ones on top of the top ones, and you see that they are sort of, you can sort of see behind it because I did fade it out, but trust me, when you get to go doing it, you won't be able to see that. So this is just in sort of design mode right now, so I'm going to move these over on top of it. You'll see. And over here you've got animation pane, so I could test it out right now by going play. So if you see, I know that it's working. And it goes by pretty quickly right there. 
and it flips. Okay, so do know it's working. I do have the children put their names down here, so I do show them to go to insert and have a text box in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put, we need it nice and large here, so I'm going to get black and maybe go to a 54 by, by Mrs. Heaton. Or in this case, I might want it white. So I'm going to highlight my text so it contrasts a little bit and center it. And I'm going to add an action to that because I want it to bounce in. So I'm going to go ahead and hit bounce, and there you go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the play again just to make sure everything works. And I see that it does, and at the end it should bounce my name. And that's how you make a skin spinning acrostic.